the religion of Al Islam is the religion of the fitra. It's the natural way of humans. It's our natural way. In essence, there is nothing technical about Islam. It occurs to humans naturally. It's their own nature, it's the call of their heart, it's the call of their very nature. Humans are designed this way, as the Prophet وسلم, says in the authentic hadith, Every human, every child is born in a state of fitrah. Their nature, their original design is based on Islam. Then the Prophet وسلم, says, and then the parents apply their influence, exert their influence on the child, and they turn him into either a Jew, a Christian, a Magian, or an atheist, or a Buddhist, or a communist, and so on and so forth. It's the influence. So the, the humans are born naturally upon Islam and the religion of Islam is their natural way. And that's why when there is no hindrance and no obstacle, mental, intellectual or cultural obstacle that holds people from seeing Islam, people embrace it. And it's not like people are changing their identity to become Muslims or to start practicing their religion. It just feels to them as coming back home as coming back to who they really are, embracing, reclaiming their nature. That's what the practice of Islam is. But the problem is sometimes, on top of all of the false propaganda against Islam that depicts Islam in the wrong fashion and demonizes Islam and Muslims and draws an image in the minds of people that is far distant from what the reality of Islam is. Using political occurrences, using violence incidents, using historical references, using cultural trigger points. And then on top of that, we find Muslims turning the beauty and the natural state of their religion into a technical peculiarity where people cannot identify with it, where people cannot see the pristine beauty and natural nature of Islam. People don't see that, people see culture. And thus this culture becomes an obstacle, becomes a screen that prevents people from having this natural first-hand interaction with Islam so their hearts have a chance to recognize it and know it. Because when Allah talks about how He guides people, Allah says, When Allah wants to guide a person, Allah opens their chest for Islam. Well, that means Allah opens their heart, so their heart is receptive at that moment. There's no obstacle that stops the guidance of Islam or the truth of Islam from coming in contact, direct contact with their hearts. And when that happens, you don't need to push people. You don't need to convince people. You don't need to get people on this side. Because it's the nature of humans that they are searching for, for who they truly are. And who they truly are is Islam. Who they naturally are is Islam. So everything that holds people from Islam is man-made. On both sides. Those who adhere to Islam and love Islam and those who take Islam as the enemy and they fabricate a false image about Islam. It's the product of these two types of people that are acting as a hindrance and that are creating a distance between the general public, between humans who are seeking the truth and Islam. And Partially, it's the, du the duty of every Muslim who is sincere to bridge that gap. It's not our job to convince people of Islam. No, not even the prophets. Blessings of, and peace of Allah be upon them. This was not their job. We're not supposed to convince. We're not supposed to persuade. We're not supposed to change people's minds. 
The job of all the prophets, as Allah subhanahu wa says, مَا عَلَى الرَّسُولِ إِلَّا الْبَلَاغِ The only obligation upon the prophet is to convey the message. Convey the message in the best way possible, meaning the in the most natural way possible. So you remove the hindrances and you offer people their birthright to come face to face with Islam in its purest form. That's all. Then what guides people is Allah, is the dynamic that Allah put in humans and the natural qualities that Allah put in the revelation in His words, the Qur'an and the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ. When these two elements meet together without any hindrance or without any screen, they react together and faith is born from this interaction. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل من قبل هدى للناس وأنزل الفرقان إن الذين كفروا بآيات الله لهم عذاب شديد لهم عذاب شديد والله عزيز ذو انتقام إن الله لا يخفى عليه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء هو الذي يصوركم في الأرحام كيف يشاء لا إله إلا هو لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم هو الذي أنزل عليك الكتاب منه آيات محكمات هن أم الكتاب منه آيات محكمات هن أم الكتاب وأخر متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيتبعون ما تشابه منه فيتبعون ما تشابه منه ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تأويله وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله والراسخون في العلم يقولون آمنا به كل من عند ربنا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميزان